Hello, it is cozy autumn reading night and I am so excited. It is 4.52 right now. I'm preparing myself for the evening. I'm not feeling so hot. I have been having like a sore throat, a little bit of a scratchy throat, bit of a fever. My One of my wonderful coworkers was like, oil of oregano. So she like made me take the shot of oil of oregano, which was potent, but also strangely delicious in my mind. Um, fingers crossed it get better. So tonight, I, I probably am not gonna drink a glass of wine if I'm being honest. I think I'm gonna have tea, but I need to show you the tea that I'm gonna have. I need to show you um, an arrival that came in the mail. It's all very exciting. Okay guys, so I went out a couple of days ago and I bought this one, Christmas Eve tea. It is the most delicious tea of life. So it has like a hint of um, cinnamon, orange peel, and spearmint. But it's mostly spearmint with this. It's just lovely. It's got this hint of citrus and hint of clove, but it's not overwhelming. So I got this the other day. I had to go out and get two more. So this one I'm going to keep it home. This one I'm also going to bring to the office because I was sharing it with the girls at the office and everyone was really liking it. And then I found out about this tea. I've never tried it. So I think tonight is the night that I'm going to drink Christmas in Paris, lavender, chocolatey flavor, and cool mint. Yep, that'll get me better. Between these three, I feel like I'll have some... Soothing stuff from my throat, which is exciting. Also very Christmassy. I got the new style at home, holiday magic. So I think I'm gonna plop myself down while I'm eating dinner and um, read this because yes, this is from Sephora. I need to know what it says. And this is from Sephora. So um, a couple of days ago, about a week ago, I told you guys about how it was my 10 year anniversary at work. And you got to pick your your gift. And so I chose this fragrance. It's by Erin. It's called Tangier Vanille. And they got me the smaller version, but I found out if you paid like $30 more, you get twice the size. So I'm going to unpackage this for you and show it to you because it is beautiful. It's so beautiful. Like the most beautiful fragrance I've ever had, I think. It, it, look at the cap of that. It's a rock that they like probably glue on top of this, but I just love this so much and it smells amazing. It's like, it's very, it's very subtle. It's lovely and subtle and like perfect for winter. I like musky kinds of fragrances, vanilla fragrance in winter. I also have my orange fragrance and that's, um, in honor of my baby that we lost, um, so uh, anyway, I think actually this paired with the orange is going to smell amazing. It's going to be like an orange creamsicle or something, but yeah. It's so subtle. It's just lovely. I'm so happy. Hello guys. So it's autumn cozy reading night. It's begun. I'm starting late because my fireplace isn't working and I was trying to get it to work this whole time and it's it's not working. My remote isn't working. Anyway, I don't know what's going on. It's driving me crazy. You can't have an autumn cozy reading night without a fireplace. So I kind of did that and it's not the same. It's not the same, but I'm going to go with it. I'm gonna have my tea soon. Um, I think I'm gonna have that Christmas Paris, Christmas in Paris tea. I think I'm gonna do that. And then um, I've been doing this whole keto thing for a little while, like a hot second, maybe two weeks. And so I made like keto brownies and I just made like uh, homemade whipped cream that's like cinnamon. So I might have a little bit of that a little bit. But, okay, we need to talk about what I'm going to read. I've been talking about everything other than that. So it's time to talk about what I'm going to read for Autumn Cozy Reading Night. Now, in my TBR 
for Autumn Cozy Reading Night, I was talking about reading um, The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters. I ended up finishing it early because I just could not put it down. And I knew Barry is away in Boston right now. And I just didn't want to read something really, really scary while he was away. Which is so ridiculous. I mean, I used to live alone for years. Years. I am a big girl. I am not really afraid. But ghosts. Ghosts I'm afraid of. So I knew I couldn't read that while he was away. So I finished that. I'm going to move on to The Wonder by Emma Donahue. I'm a little bit more into it now. I'm 102 pages in and it's only 260 something. No, it's 285 book pages. I'm still not loving it. I've got to be honest. It's not blowing my mind, but I'm going to keep going. Um, I'm going to keep going. Maybe I can like read quickly. Oh, that's a bad sign, isn't it? When you just don't want to. Um, wish me luck. I'll let you know how it goes. Hmm. Okay, so the latest news is that it's starting to pick up. The Wonder is starting to get a little more interesting and now I feel like I will finish it because I'm starting to get a little bit intrigued and I want to know what's happening. So there's that. I have my Christmas in Paris tea. I haven't had a sip of it yet, but I'm going to take a little mini break from reading The Wonder and I'm going to read my Style at Home magazine. It's the Christmas issue. Can you tell I'm like ready for Christmas? I'm going to be drinking Christmas in Paris tea. <coughs> Libby's angry about it. Libby doesn't believe in it. It's not Christmas yet. Oh, she's insane. Libby is joining me for cozy reading night. Hey Libby. I'm kind of feeling like all of my updates are not really bookish, but I have to tell you, so I'm drinking my Christmas in Paris tea by Stash in my Smells Like Snow mug that I got for Christmas last year. Guys, this stuff tastes like an after eight. The lightness, it's got a tiny hint of cocoa, spearmint pepperminty vibes this is good like I'm going back and getting more boxes I think I might buy several boxes of this and then the Christmas Eve one because they're all so lovely anyway that's my update um I haven't been reading much tonight I I this is all I've been doing let me be clear but I haven't accomplished much. Like I'm only, I don't know, 50 pages in um, since I started reading tonight. But it's getting so much better. Like I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Well, I'm enjoying it a lot more now. So yeah, this might turn out to be a big surprise for me. I nearly DNF'd this book. So we'll see. I'm not going to, you know, assume, but maybe. Hello guys. So I decided to come upstairs to bed. It was like 9.30 and that's usually the time that I come upstairs to bed and read in bed. So I just took off my makeup. It's like 15 to 10 and I'm still reading The Wonder. I'm not that much further in. I'm like about 170 pages now. So I read honestly just 70 pages tonight, which isn't a ton, but I was kind of puttering around doing a couple of things, mostly reading, mostly reading, but it's just slow going, I guess. Um, 
Yeah, it it's picking up. I still I'm not like blown away. Like, yes, I want to know what's going on with this girl who's not eating. Is she eating or not? I want to know, but not desperately. And I really don't. I don't feel tied to any of the characters. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Did you guys do Autumn Cozy Reading Night? And if you did, what did you read? I'm going to hit the hay soon. That tea was so lovely. Kind of soothed my, soothed my throat a little bit. I'm really hoping that I can beat this cold before it starts. This is the aim. So tomorrow morning I have a lovely massage booked. I think I, ha I booked a hot stone massage for like an hour and 15 minutes, something fabulous like that. So I'm going to do that tomorrow morning. And then I was supposed to have a girls night, but that got canceled, which honestly um, is kind of just as well for me because I'm was feeling ill and I don't really want to stay out late when I'm feeling ill. So yeah, the rest of the weekend is going to be chill. I think my mom and I are hoping to go and see the Nutcracker, which will be lovely. I love the Nutcracker. So, but until then, I'm going to get into the wonder and then hit the hay. I hope you're doing well and I'll talk with you soon. Good night.